I'm sure a lot of people have noticed that I always tend to wear a pair of gloves. I tend to wear them out of habit and also because I am very safety conscious. I've actually worked on sites for the last 25 years where you have to wear these. If you get caught on site without your gloves on, it's quite simple, they won't ask you to go back. I have actually seen contractors who have been removed from site for not wearing their PPE. So it's not a, actually an option, you either wear it or you don't go on site, it's as simple as that. There's a massive difference between work gloves. These ones that I'm actually wearing now are actually cut resistant gloves. These are very expensive and they are about £10 a pair. These will actually protect your hands from um, a cut if you tried to cut yourself with a Stanley knife or if you touched a sharp piece of glass or some sharp steel, these should prevent your hands from getting damaged. These gloves also offer some kind of protection against impact. So like I said, these are expensive. They are £10 a pair approximately, but they do offer a lot of protection. It's important when you choose any glove that you get the correct size. I normally take an eight or a nine, which is quite comfortable. And I can do quite dexterous things wearing these gloves because they are such a good fit. It's absolutely critical that you choose the correct glove for the job that you are doing. So as I've said, they are £10 a pair. We then go on to these that I sometimes wear. Basically, these keep your hands clean, that's about it. These offer no protection whatsoever from any impact or any kind of sharp object. These basically just keep your hands clean. They were actually about a pound a pair. They were on special offer, that's why I bought them. We then have these, which are thermal gloves. I tend to wear these if I'm working outside. These keep your hands nice and warm when you're working outside. If you actually wear any of these two outside, your hands go cold very quickly indeed. So I do like to wear these if I am working outside in snow or in frosty conditions, etc. Again, these offer a little bit of protection from impact, but they are not cut resistant. And occasionally you will see me wearing gloves like this, which are simply to keep your hands clean. These will stop chemicals, paints, etc., thinners, from actually getting onto your skin. These are easily torn, they rip very easily. So you tend to just wear these for quick jobs where you can soon pull them off when they are dirty and dispose of them in the bin. They are again very cheap. I usually buy a box with an hundred of those in and they are not at all expensive. I think it costs about 10 pound per box. It's absolutely critical that you choose the correct glove for the job that you are doing. Every year there are thousands of people that end up in accidents and emergency units because they've injured themselves, either because they're not wearing gloves in the first place or because they are wearing the incorrect gloves. If you wear the correct gloves, they do offer a lot of protection. So you can see from that, that, that glove pretty much saved that hand. If that had been a normal glove and it wasn't cut resistant, you can guarantee that that person would have been going to hospital for stitches. So as you can see, cut resistant gloves are cut resistant to a certain degree. I don't recommend you try that with your hand inside, but as you can see, we just have a few light scores on them gloves, nothing that has actually penetrated through the surface of the glove. So if you were wearing that glove and something like that happened, the chances are you're not going to end up in hospital. If you wear the incorrect glove for the incorrect job, you could have a nasty accident and you could end up in hospital. Like so. Again, even the front of these gloves offer absolutely no protection whatsoever against cuts. So it's absolutely critical to wear gloves when you're doing any kind of DIY and it's also very important to choose the correct type of glove for the job that you are doing. So I don't just wear gloves to keep my hands clean, I also wear them for protection. It's absolutely critical that you wear the correct type of glove for the job that you are doing or you could end up having a nasty accident.
I do hope this video has been of some help to you and I hope that in future when you are doing a job you will wear a decent pair of safety gloves.